So the issues present on the track with the PCV system where the oil is coming in is due to several things, but most likely when this PCV system was designed, it was designed around a you know, 180 horsepower Toyota Celica type of drive cycle where there wasn't as much track usage and there therefore wasn't as much time spent at wide open throttle. The second major piece of it is, is it definitely wasn't uh, designed around a supercharged application which pushes an awful lot more flow through the crankcase system, a lot more oil into the, the crankcase air that then has to try to get taken out inside of the valve cover. So between the, the track duty cycle design and then the supercharger addition, that is the primary factors that have caused oil buildup in the engine. Finally, the other piece of this is, is this motor is a relatively low cost motor from a Toyota perspective. So the, the PCV system found here with these baffle plates is relatively simple and not designed to be you know, an F1 car's air oil separator. It's just supposed to work good enough for them to meet their durability requirements. So I've seen two different types of systems that have been used to attack this problem in the Lotus community. Um, both one system is an open system, which uh, has a connection to atmosphere in it, and one system is a closed system, which still maintains all of the connections to the throttle body. The open system functions based on removing this connection between the intake manifold vacuum side and the low load side of the PCV system, and there's a, a reason for that. Um, what it does instead is it connects from the half inch port here over to a can with a filter on the end of it. And that can with the filter on the end of it is actually designed to be a vent system or a breather system for a dry sump application, which is dramatically different from a crankcase pressure perspective than this system. In a dry sump application, the pump has enough capacity to pull both the oil and the air out of the crankcase and maintain vacuum in the crankcase on its own. It doesn't need a manifold source to do that. The G-rotor pump style that's used in the Toyota motors cannot do that. It cannot pull both air and oil into the engine system or else it will cavitate. So that system is not capable of pulling vacuum into it. So the primary problem with using a, a system tied to atmosphere like that is it cannot pull vacuum in the crankcase. And you lose that capability. So your piston ring functionality and the drain back passages are affected. How much they're affected is anyone's game. Could be a little, could be, could be none. But I can guarantee you the system's not working the way the designers of this engine expected it to. The, the way that system functions is it basically allows the crankcase pressure to build up from the blow-by gases and then expels it out into a can and through a filter. Um, systems like this, you can typically find that they'll have an oil mist inside of the engine bay because the can can only consume so much of that before it goes into the filter and then that air and oil system goes through the filter, eventually uh, causes the filter to get filled with oil and then it kind of provides this mist on the engine bay. You can kind of wipe your finger and feel this gritty stuff in the engine bay. Um, the benefits of that solution are it's cheap, it can be found at pretty much any race shop online. Uh, it doesn't have any connections to the intake system, so you can guarantee there's no oil within this intake track or intercoolers or anything of that nature. Um, and it's relatively, you know, straightforward to install. The downside of it is, though, you lose that crankcase ventilation system completely. There is no PCV system in the vehicle anymore. So nothing, there's nothing there to take out the moisture in the air uh, that can build up over long drives or normal driving around on the street and you don't have that high load vacuum in the crankcase necessary for all the engine functions to work, at least how they're designed. The other solution that's found in the market uh, tries to maintain the closed system, which maintains the connections on the intake manifold, while adding volume into the system uh, to help with the air and oil mixture separation. Uh, example of this would be the Sector 111 quick cans that are out. The idea of that system is by adding that volume, it gives a place for the air to the air and oil mixture exiting the cam cover to cool even further, as well as um, slow down even further inside of that larger volume to enable that air that oil to drop out of suspension. So it enters a can, um, it has it, a baffle forces it to turn down towards the bottom of the can, and then comes back up the other side and then re-enters the engine at the uh, depending on which can at the fittings here by the throttle body. 
the, the pros of that system are is it will remove the vast majority of the oil from the uh, uh, separator, from the air oil mixture that's coming out of the cam cover. Uh, that additional volume is considerable. It's about six inches tall and two and a half inches in diameter. So it's a considerable chunk of volume, especially when compared to what's inside of this cam cover. So that has a large effect. Uh, the negatives of it is, is it's, it's another piece you have to purchase, although it's relatively inexpensive. Um, and then it, uh, it also still maintains those connections. So there is some very, very, very small amount of oil residual that will form through the system. Nowhere near enough to affect intercooler efficiency or combustion processes, but it's present and some people don't like that. So if you have a race car that you're going to change the oil all the time on it after every track event, and you're never going to leave it in a cold situation, and you're retuning the engine for any uh, air fuel ratio changes that have occurred because of the, the leak in the system, if you will, then an open system is fine. If you are doing street driving and you're trying to maintain a, the functionality of the system while improving that oil uh, flow into the intake manifold problem because you go to regular track days, then the catch can solution is probably a better one for you. Your choice, depending on what you do with your car. So that concludes our PCV video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Sector 111. There's definitely more details to this system than what we went through today, but we tried to provide a, a reasonable, high-level explanation of what's going on inside of your car. Thank you very much.